It's beer o'clock on Real Little Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer from Beer Here and it's a bottle of their Hop Fix coming in at 6.5% ABV. There you go, love that. Pure injection of hops. Great looking label. Bottle cap only says that uh, it goes off on the 15th of the 4th, 2016, with it being September 2014. It's very fresh. Let's get this beer out into a glass and see what we get. Nice bit of smoke on the opening. Beer in the glass then. Well, nice glug on the on the pour there. Suggesting that the beer has got a good body. Beer in the glass, it's a two finger white head with lovely streaming carbonation. Look at that, rising up the side of the glass. It's an amber colored ale. Before we get into it, I'd like to say a quick thank you to our channel sponsor, Beers of Europe.co.uk, for sending the beer. Uh, they do a great Danish beer, European beer, American beer, and of course, beer from the UK so if you've been on holiday or you've been working away and you've drunk something that you, that you quite like and you want to try it back home check out beersofeurope.co.uk so on with the beer that looks lovely it really does classic I'd say classic almost red ale classic amber red ale it's not it's not a the lightest of IPAs I've seen. Let's get the aroma. Haha, <laughs> but blimey. If you're gonna put a bloke on the label with an injection full of hops on the label, then then you're gonna do that with the confidence of having a lot of good juicy lemon grapefruit, mango, aromas in the beer and it really does smell very pungent of hops. When I say pungent I don't mean pungent in a bad way, um, I mean pungent in a big strong bold lovely aroma. Smells quite sweet also and a little bit spicy so let's dive in, cheers! Wow, Stone the Crows, Stone the Crows, that is one hoppy little number. It's like sticking a needle full of hops in your veins. Um, what that would do, I don't know. Um, what I'm trying to say is, I'm just messing about with that label. What I'm trying to say is really, is that this beer is magnificent. It's a big, juicy floral, citrusy, grapefruit, mango, sweet, and then ultimately bitter beer. It's a great sensation. It's a great taste. What, what, what can I say? It's, it's... And speaking to a good friend in Denmark, Or actually, saying that, no. Speaking to beer here on Facebook, let me get it right. This brewery, even though they produce some great beers, they're a one-man band. So he does all the label designs, he does all the kind of... The decision making in whether it goes in a pint bottle or whether it goes in a 330 bottle, whether it goes in a bomber. He goes into the styles with the, with the decision making, 
he works out the all of the ingredients for his recipes he, he, from start and that, and that is going before he even begins to build a brewery this guy is a one man band I can't believe it because I've heard about beer here for a long time probably because a good Danish friend of mine, fellow beer reviewer, uh, Peter the Master of Hobbits, reviews a lot of their beers and he talks about their beers. But it's just great that a one-man band can produce great beers like this. Because I think, to be honest, I looked on Rape Beer and this beer is brewed at Brewdog. Or that's what Rape Beer say. Um... So whether it was a collaboration, whether he, whether he went over to meet James Watt and they sat down at a table and, and kind of contract brewed this, I don't know. Sounds like it was. That's perfectly fine. But while he's doing that, while he's flying over to the UK and he's, and he's meeting James Watt, because he's a one-man band, his brewery is just... He's not doing anything. And he can't design any labels for his, for his beer. And I just find it, it must be a monumental effort to do all of these different things on your own. So what I'm really doing here is, is saying a big pat on the back to the brewer here for, for probably working 14 hours a day, seven days a week. This is a great beer. This really is a great beer. massively hoppy it really does rock me on my back feet it's so hoppy but not over hoppy sometimes you can have a hoppy ipa which is just absolutely senseless it's 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 crazy it tears your, your eyeballs it's 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 300 ibus um it's it's there's no balance uh, but with this beer you've got that crazy amount of of hoppiness but it's not too much there's a balance to it there's a sweetness to it at the beginning it's a very good tasting sweet beer but then it's lovely and bitter on the back end great balance great taste between bitter and sweetness what more can I say carry on brewing great beer beer here I'm gonna rate this So be here hop fix at 6.5% ABV gets a 9 out of 10. It's a 9 out of 10 from Real Craft Beer. Very, very, very solid rating for me. I'm going to go away and enjoy this now. But thanks for watching. Put your comments in the comments box. Please subscribe to our daily beer reviews and cheers.